July 28th, babies. Happy birthday if you are born July 28th or if you know anyone who is born July 28th. Okay, so this is going to be a year for you. You're going to be very, very driven. There is something that you want to succeed this year, okay? Know that you will be on the right path, but um, there, because I feel some of you, there is something that is just needs to be fulfilled. Um, everything could be okay, but there is something that is missing and that you're going to be striving for it. So for some it's love, some it's work, some it's spiritual, some it's just whatever part in your life. Um, there is a success and victory. A lot of you may be traveling a lot. You may purchase a new vehicle. Um, that's another thing I'm seeing, I, I feel too, for someone. Um, for some of you, you may find love on your journey or while you're traveling. There will be offers of assistance, blessings from the universe, and for some, this is um, an offer, an offer of love. It may be taking your relationship to another level. So we are seeing that energy. Very nice. Um, sparks and miracles could be happening too. Okay, that's one thing I'm picking up. All right, so that's how people are going to perceive you is basically a very, you're very driven this year. Now, so kind of slow down maybe. <laughs> the Astro Dice. All right, so this is the theme of the year. This is Mercury. Um, Mercury, Gemini, and the results is in the eighth house. All right, very interesting. All right, so the theme of the year is Mercury. Mercury is a fast-moving planet. This is also, um, and it goes in retrograde a lot of times. So just mind you when it goes in retrograde and the little bit of troubles that we have. Mercury is multitasking. Mercury is quick thinking. Mercury is communications. It's every day's travel. It's creative as well. So communications and um, that is coming through. You could be doing a lot of things this year. Um, many projects at hand. There is a sense of you learning things really quickly so you could pick up on things very quickly too. So the Mercury theme is there. Communications of all kind too and everyday travels is coming up. So there's some kind of theme there. You will find some kind of victory there. I feel that is very positive for you. Now, um, Gemini is coming through. Talk about double whammy Mercury. They're both, this is uh, the ruler of Mercury here too. So a Gemini is going to be very predominant. Um, is going to either uh, help you or hinder you this year. Um, or the time of Gemini is going to be very, very important um, in your solar year to come, which is close to the end of your solar year. Um, also, very similar theme here that you see with um, Gemini. Now, with Gemini, we could be changing our mind sometimes. Follow through the negative side is follow through could be a little bit, you know, so it's like maybe you're just excited wanting to do a lot of things, but do you really finish your projects? Um, is there a follow through? That's the only negative side. Um, but I do see there's going to be some um, closures. You will find some closures and some endings. Okay. Now, you have the eighth house. E, not the easiest house where the results are going to come. But eighth house, there is very positive. And this is dealing into, you know, there's a psychological side to this. Maybe other people around you will have some kind of troubles. You're going to be there being able to psychologically evaluate them better. You know, just seeing things. It gives you more of um, a mirror reflection sometimes. What's uh, missing in your life or what you want to purge out of your life. It does deal with shared resources uh, taxes, inheritance, um, things like that. There is a side to, a dark side to this too. But again, this is dwelling more deeper. Um, intuition, feeling, the gut, uh, your gut feeling is going to be very important. Um, so I do see something right here may even, maybe even start right away. I feel something in the next few, two, three days, three, four days, something like that may start activating this eighth house. That is the feeling I am feeling here. This could be, um, like I said, any shared resources, partnerships, a lot of that is coming through too. It's death and rebirth. It's total transformation. So we're seeing that energy for the year. All right. Now, the card you get for your solar year theme, wow. The Ten of Cups. Could we ask for anything better? This is a happy family. This is ultimate happiness, okay? There could be a significant celebration this year. Maybe that you'll be enjoying more time with the family. Um, maybe you haven't seen your family. You've been too busy. Or there's going to be a significant family reunion or gathering. I don't know, but it's very nice. I do feel sometime in spring, there. Um, this is going to activate more. The thing is, what we're seeing here, too, is... Be careful with, um, it's, it's a gathering too. There's a flip side to this. 
um, there could be, you know, family reunions and or sometimes gatherings. There's always the, oh no, have to deal with blah blah. So they can activate repressed anger or some kind of resentment. I feel there could be even some jealousy because I'm really seeing Tiger's eye here activating both these cards. Okay, this can also indicate finding some um romantic and um a romantic partner maybe you get together in a social group with your family and then and there's someone there maybe not long term but there's some romantic vibes here as well okay so we're seeing a lot of that overall happiness okay your jumpstone for the year is tiger's eye are you envious of someone else's good fortune are others jealous of you replace jealousy with happiness for another's good fortune blessings are being received all around anyone create the same blessings with true and pure intention it's up to you so when we see tiger's eye that's one way you can look at it and i always say there's adjustments that need to be made your passions your desires there's decisions that need to be made you know the yellow hues usually what we see is um sometimes it's a, a very competitive yeah it can be the you know um jealousy comp competition I feel with this, because I do gemstone readings, and when I see Tiger's Eye, I also can say, this can be something to make some kind of commitment. Um, I start a project, you start something, follow through is important. This could be also making commitments to others. Maybe there's passion, desires with a relationship, but some adjustments that need to be made. I strongly feel you have a yes, yes answer. Uh, yes to do something. Yes, go ahead um, this year too. You may be dealing with a Taurus. I pick up a Taurus too or the time of Taurus, okay? Um, the energy of the day is the Page of Swords. Interesting card. All right, so could be dealing with some news that's coming in, okay? Maybe someone says something. There, it could be dealing with critics, yes. But there is an energy here that you're like, you know what? I'm just going to have fun and you know what I mean? Kind of... Um, the aloofness to this too. Um, no one's going to mess with my day. Can't be dealing with a child though for some reason. Now, um, the only thing here is, I don't know, I'm picking up a Leo. Maybe someone may be dealing with a Leo. Um, even an Aquarius I'm picking up here too, or those um, energies are present. It's, you know, this is a time to wield that sword in this way. You know, you've been kind of holding things back start moving forward no procrastinations anymore and start moving you know keep going this is learning some information starting to read so there's a newness to this as well so it's not there that's a positive end in here too just don't make any quick decision because you maybe need more information all right now if you didn't make your wish this is your wish for the solar year i'm going to flip it now and it's a strength card okay so i'm going to explain how this could work out and if what we see Strength, you definitely contain this lion. You're very strong. We saw the power in you this year anyway. Okay, so I am seeing um, pretty good energy. It is a major arcana. Um, this is gaining more clarity and your resolve and your follow through is going to be important. Um, whatever this wish is, what I'm seeing, it um, a Sagittarius could be pre uh, present or the time of Sagittarius may activate something about this wish. The thing is, it's not going to be the way you thought it would be. Um, you know, whatever you're wishing for, so be careful what you wish for, maybe. It's not the way you thought, thought it would be. It won't turn out the way you think it will be. But things are going to start accelerating, all right? So just know that. So you're going to be strong. You, you can get through and get this manifested. So there is a yes, but it's not going to be the way you thought, okay? All right. The important numbers for the year definitely is an eight. Um, Ten. One and 35. 35 for some reason is like an underlining number. Okay, have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful day. Bye.